supplies are good. Now listen, I'm Dr. Berman. I'm from the Institute. I want to see your mother. Dr. Berman, yeah. did you find him? No, I haven't even looked yet. What's that gun? Well, seeing as how we have a new head of the family, I think it's time you started pulling your own weight around here. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. And that's your favorite yeah, shot you were talking about there? Well, I have so many favorite shots. Uh... Don't forget, my film was going back and forth to New York every night, and I was seeing the dailies because you've got to see the dailies to make sure you're matching up, otherwise you're in big trouble. In Jacksonville, Florida, which is some kind of special location as I remember it, it's a really good place to shoot a horror film, I'll just kind of say that. I didn't know it was a genre. I didn't know it was anything. I just knew it was very hard to do. I saw myself in the dailies and I said, you know, this is screwy, forget it, you know, just do your work. I had written my father, in those days there was no internet, so I had written him a letter saying, I'm coming home, you were right. I'm sorry I put you through all this. Coming home, I don't want to, there's no acting jobs. You're right. Wrote him that letter, sent it off. And two days later, I got that part. I didn't realize it at the time as I sat in that dark movie theater, but some of the film had been shot just a few hundred yards from where I was living. Surviving, you know? Oh, come on, Artie. You got a few good years left on that puss of yours. <laughs> sure, I'm all right. What is that thing in your hand? It's Todd. He's not totally out of his mind. He's killing people all over the complex. <laughs> Not cranberry sauce. 